What's going on, everybody? This is VJ Hunt from the Hunt Family Farm. And today we got a pretty cool video. Um, I'm gonna give you that fencing video. I know a lot of people in the comments ask for it, requesting it. It's not gonna be the full on fencing video, but it will be one of me building a temporary line that'll kind of give our sheep and our donkeys an opportunity to rotate off of the grass that they're currently on onto some luscious green grass on the other side of this field. I love having these little free range chickens out here. They do a, a great job um, with keeping down like pests, like flies and insects. We got two guineas, two roosters, and three hens. The hens are laying, so these are kind of like our free range birds. They are literally yard chickens, and that's what that's what people call them from around here. Um, they go out in the field and they scratch. They do a great job with pest control, like keeping ticks, killing, like eating ticks and they eat the larvae from uh, from ants. I mean, not ants, from flies. So they they they're good with fly control. Uh, fly can be flies can be a big pest uh, when it comes to animals because they bite them and then they drink their blood and then they go lay their larva in the manure of our animals. And so what the chickens do is they go out and they scratch in the manure to eat the larva. So. It's kind of a big cycle um, that works well together. So here we are. Uh, step one of building a fence is cutting the power. Hear that tick? Yeah, that's the electric. We have an electric box that powers our fences. And so we use the electricity to keep our animals in, but also to help with keeping predators out. Um, if you have a coyote or fox or something, they may walk up to the fence and touch it. If it shocks them, they may not come back. So it kind of works both ways. Uh, our animals learn the barriers of our property and then, you know, predators also get a good zapping if they attempt to penetrate the walls of the Hunt family farm. But we're gonna cut this power right now. Um, and then I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach uh, a chest mount Give you guys an opportunity to see me kind of winding the wire, and then we'll get back into what the plan, the grand plan, and how we're going to fix this fence. So we're here at this space. This is what I'm talking about. The animals have obviously been on this side, and they've eaten it down to pretty much dirt. All right, so we want to get them over here on this beautiful pasture, but the thing that blocks them is this temporary fence that I put up um, some time ago. So now I'm going to move it back uh, so that the animals can have some really, really good green grass uh, to continue their growth. Uh, we did supplement their feed with hay, but uh, it's nothing like nothing that be, nothing like green grass, uh, especially in the warmer months for our animals. So here's the corner post where it started at. Um, this temporary wire, this is something we got out of like tractor supply. And I hooked it onto here. It comes on a spool like that, like this. And we're just gonna wind it up. So it goes, it's three, it's three lines that came in and we, I rigged up something there. And so now we're gonna attempt to wind it up and then find us another good spot to start the new one. So here we have, um, these are just like temporary, I guess, fence holders. Uh, they're just, they're plastic, really, really cheap. Uh, but they're used for these temporary fences. Nothing, it's nothing that, if it was definitely gonna be a, a more permanent fence, we would probably use like a metal T post or a cedar post. But these are just plastic uh, fence post holders. And what I'm gonna do is you just pull it out of the ground and I'm gonna just unhook all three strands. You see it, Kylie? Why is this thing giving me this? There it is, boom. So you saw that? We're just gonna unhook. I'll hook them out. And that's it, that's all it is, but 
I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna unwind. I'm gonna go down and do every fence post holder like that. Uh, and then we'll be moving it. So now we're here at the corner point. This is something I want to say. It's not really a big thing, but for those who just aren't familiar, how kind of fences work and how they charge. So the box that I unplugged earlier, that supplies the power. And then it's a, we run a ground, we, you ground one right wire and then you run another one onto some, some form of fencing that will conduct electricity. So we ran our fence and we connected it down on another space and then connected it here. And so all we have is just some coated um, throwaway wire, but it works. Uh, it, it, it does, it works. That's why I say, I don't know how, I can't tell you the size behind, but it's just some coated wire. It's like the end piece, you touch one end, you touch that end of the fence and boom, now the electricity supplied in here goes in there, all right? This is also my end point because I went looped all the way down. So that's why on that time lapse, um, you saw me pulling all of the stakes up. So now at this point, it's, it's simple. I untie it here because I've untied it at the other end. Now I can just wind really quickly and we can get this fence moved. But I thought I did. Dang it. Come on, V. I left one tied. Oh my goodness. Here's the problem. I forgot to untie these. This is just something that I made to just kind of rig it up. Because again, people, this is a temporary wire. So obviously if it was gonna be more of a permanent structure, I would have used some better things, but I just threw this one up to kind of give our animals some space at the time, a cutoff space at the time, so they could eat one side of the pasture down. And now it's time to move. Yeah, it is hot, 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 hot out here. I'm taking a quick break to just hydrate, number one. But I kind of wanted to maybe kind of explain a little bit 
Uh, I took a break because I needed to come get a knife because in the time lapse, you can probably see right at the end where I um, realized that there's a big major problem with the wire. With that temporary wire, you can cut it and just retie it. So I needed a knife. So I came over to the truck and I decided to take a break and kind of fill you in um, on what I'm doing or why I kind of stopped right there at that point. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting a knife. You're going to see me cut it, tie it, and then we're going to continue rolling this wire up. Okay, so I didn't have a knife on me. How I'm prepared, but you can see that this has kind of come loose and it's just not going to be good for conducting electricity. So I'm going to try to make it work with these pliers. That's all I could find. Um, so. I'm not gonna work. Damn it. Okay. gonna cut it right here because there's another tie right there doesn't make sense to salvage that much so I'm just cutting around it that's why it's always important to have the right tools cuz um <laughs> makes your job easier All right, so finally we got the wire rolled up. That process took a lot longer than I initially expected. Um, it was some work uh, with it being tangled up. I don't know how it got tangled up, knots coming out everywhere, but we got it done. So the next step now is we're gonna start on the corner post and we're gonna begin running this wire. Um, I already mapped out the area. This is the area, if you've seen, you'll be able to go all the way back to that tree line. Uh, but we're about to get started on that. It is hot. It is July's, uh, July, what was a B? <laughs> um, July in North Carolina is brutal, all right? Especially when you get a late start and it is now 11, 12, 20 
it's hot. It's hot. 1120 is hot. I should have got out here earlier. But, you know, you make those mistakes. You know, it, the sun definitely reminds you of getting up early. Okay, we're going to start the fence building process. Um, I don't have a very complex way of doing it. Um, this is, again, I want to remind you that this is just temporary. So this is, this space right here just be for them to graze in, you know, for maybe two to three weeks, maybe a month, uh, depending on how much rain we get. Uh, we still have, you know, a lot more places for them to go, but we want to kind of keep it rotational. So we're going to start here. We start by putting an insulator on. It's not a hard thing. It's just some wire insulator, not great. Uh, it's not what I would use if I was building like a permanent structure, but because this is a temporary structure, temporary fence, um, this will do. So I just tie, what I do is I tie it around the pole, literally take the wire and twist it around itself. <laughs> That's it, simple. Um, and then we will start running the wire. So you're gonna get to the end of the wire. What I try to do is I try to sit the wire on something. Oh crap, I got tangled again. I'm telling you, this wire has been the biggest headache. It has made me lose so much, so much time fighting with it. I mean, it's convenient because it's cheap. Um, it's cheap and it, and it's easy to run, but it will tangle so quickly. So it's important that you get them on spools like ASAP, like. As soon as you have it, just get it on the spool. I made the mistake of using it out of the pack and boy, oh boy, it was it was a headache. So, there we go, jeez. It's definitely good. Temporary stuff, it's lightweight, it's easy, you can just cut it. But my goodness. All right, so I'm gonna take the end of it, just right here, and I'm just gonna run it underneath and pull it tight. And so, as I walk, what I hope for, well, that ain't gonna work, that's a failure. I need to sit it on something. Um, where it'll just spin. Well, it's not gonna spin because I got it locked. Way to go, V. So what I'll do is I'll walk this down. I'm gonna grab a couple of these stakes just to kind of map out my space where, where I'm going. All right, so I'm now putting this, these in. Um, and it's just the first one. And I don't care about the tension yet, but all you do is you get it and just step on it. And it goes into the ground. I don't want to put it down deep because I'm probably going to move it to adjust the tension, but that's it. So we've gotten to the corner. And so all I'm doing is just looping it in right here underneath. And then we're going to pull and go back the other way. That's how I do it. So it's going to come and pull through. It's going to keep the tension on. And we're going to walk back that way with the second line. Okay, so just an update. It's burning hot out here. But I got the fence up all along here. Um, so now... 
The next step is just to get the animals up here. Uh, they're all in the barn, in the shade. In the barn, in the shade, which is probably where I need to be. But I wanted to make sure that they had a place to graze this afternoon. Um, creatures are typically, animals are typically creatures of habit. And so a lot of times, wherever the fence line is, even if you don't put a fence up, they won't cross it. Uh, it's always that one brave one, but typically they're gonna go to the line and they'll stop. And so what I'm gonna go do is get them out of the barn, bring them up here, let them see it, let them cross over into it. Um, they probably will eat some and then go back up into this evening, but I do want them to be aware and I wanna see them actually go out there. Got some things to do this afternoon, so I don't want to put them out there without me being out there. They may run through the fence or, you know, it's certain things that you don't see when you're building. Um, and so you wanna make sure you're out there to correct it as soon as they go. So I'm gonna go get them and then we're coming back. This is the other side of the pasture that you guys don't really see. So to kind of give you perspective, we do most of the shooting in there. Um, that's where most of the sheep were when they were babies. Um, look at her. So now all of them hear me or see me out here. And they typically follow me. I didn't know if they were which barn there's. Uh, look like Millie. She heard me, so she's coming out. So everything is gonna come out and I'm gonna walk them up there and allow them to see this new area. Come on. Come on. That's a big male. The rest of them are actually um, in the barn and they may not come. Um, they're probably full or really full uh, just from feeding this morning. And so we'll see, we'll see. And we'll walk them up here. They will be in the sun. So I'm sure they won't be out here very long. Here they come. It's a mad dash. So typically they're gonna stop right when they get to the line. Let's see. They all stopped at the line. Let's make sure it's safe. Okay, look, everybody paused at the line because they just become creatures of habit. It's so interesting how animals just know where their boundaries are. And so they won't go beyond it. Eventually they will look. She jumped off in it and now the feeding frenzy starts. The rest of them are still in the barn. I'm sure they'll all figure it out at some point. Um, you know, tip, like I said, it's the heat of the day. So usually they don't come out and graze like that. But I guess when you give them new pasture, they they begin to enjoy. So this area should last them about a month or so, maybe a little longer, depending on how much rain we get. Uh, the, the beauty in what we have, I have an abundance of space for all the animals. So, you know, they we can rotate them through and, give the areas, uh, the grass in the areas to regenerate. Millie's kind of scared me. I ain't even see her pull up. But that's all I have for today. Uh, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, comment. Um, comment on these videos. We're gonna put up the permanent fence right now. Track the supply was out of the things that we need. Um, and if you know anything about fencing, the most important part is corner posts. So we gotta cut some corner, corner posts we're gonna put those in first, let them get set up, and then we will start the fencing process. So if you like this fencing pro look, if you like this fencing video, then comment down below that you wanna see more because we definitely have more fencing to do, some fence and maintenance and all those things. But that's all I have for you. Appreciate you watching. Until next time, peace out from the Hunt Family Farm.